Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube Nation? It's your boy, The Black Lizard, coming at you again with another one of my famous build videos right here. Today, we are going to talk about uh, what's been so far my favorite build. Uh, I was uh, playing some Chain Lightning spec. I was leveling with that, and uh, I spec uh, I theorcrafted a little bit on stream, and this is the build that we came up with. It's a Blizzard Frozen Orb-oriented uh, build. Um, it's a cold sork and it's kind of it's, it's a bit of like an old school uh, Blizz Orber build, so it's really really fun. It's also very effective. I had great results with this. I tried the Arc Lash build, I tried um, Ice Charge build, and um, I tried uh, this build, and I really like this one the most. Uh, in general, I've had great, great results with this. Uh, I was able to clear a tier 4 dungeon at uh, level 53. Um, it was one of those dungeons without a boss, but still, you know, uh, those mobs are like 20 levels higher than me, and they one-shot. Uh, so this is a very safe build as well, uh, and I'm going to get uh, a little bit into how the build works. But first, I'm going to explain kind of the theory behind the build. So basically, the theory behind it is you want to be stacking shells. Uh, the more you uh, chill an enemy, the, uh, the more chance you will get frozen. Basically, if you chill the same target over and over, uh, that target will get frozen. So we've built the whole build around chilling stuff and freezing it. And when targets get frozen, we're playing with the Ice Shards enchantment, which means that as soon as a uh, target gets frozen, we start shooting automatically Ice Shards uh, on that target. Another thing is anytime I use any of these skills, except the left click, um, frozen orbs are going to launch at the target. It's also going to restore mana. Anytime I freeze a target, and these are, I would say, the mandatory legendaries for this, uh, you have a chance to make the target vulnerable for three seconds. That's one thing. The other thing is you deal more damage to stunned or frozen enemies. Now, getting these legendaries is super easy. All you have to do is uh, go and uh, do Sunken Library uh, Dungeon. And there is another dungeon here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Uh, you need to do Forgotten Depths in Dry Steps. If you've done those two dungeons, you have like the the starter kit for this uh, build. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the other legendaries and the uniques that I recommend. But uh, for now, uh, if you're swapping over to this build, those are the two things that I would immediately from the get-go uh, just go and, and get. It's easy. You just go and do uh, you know two easy dungeons. Uh, to unlock that. Now, um, the build, uh, the skills work like this. So, we've gone uh, for Frostbolt, Enhanced Frostbolt, Glinting Frostbolt. So, Enhanced Frostbolt, when you left-click somebody who's already frozen, uh, the target explodes, or your Frostbolt explodes, and hits surrounding enemies. For each enemy that you hit, you get mana back. So, this is great for single target, this is great for bosses, uh, because you build up that stagger, and we're going to talk about the bosses in a sec as well. Uh, but this, anytime you have a high HP elite, basically if you're fighting a pack of mobs, you just want to blizzard everything, and then the highest HP mob, you just left-click it. Um, the other thing that we have is Frozen Orb for the enchantment, uh, and uh, we got the Frozen Orb uh, restoring mana as well when it hits an enemy. Uh, you can even go for uh, Frozen Orb and makes the target vulnerable if you want. I haven't really experimented too much with that, but this could be nice as well. Now, this is uh, something that you have to max. This is very important. You get Ice Shards. You max that out. You get the Enhanced Ice Shards as well. Because anytime you freeze a target, your Ice Shards are going to be flying to the target. Now, um, I went uh, and picked Flame Shield. Enhanced Flame Shield. Shimmering Flame Shield. You don't have to pick Flame Shield. You could also pick Deep Freeze instead of Flame Shield. Uh, which I've experimented uh, with a little bit. And uh, it's not bad either. Uh, maybe personal preference there. I like the Flame Shield more. But uh, Deep Freeze is definitely optional as well. Uh, if you want to have that ultimate uh, teleport is just good to you know mobility frees you from stuns it also later if you get the uh, unique for teleport you can gr kind of group mobs with this really easily so i would recommend getting the teleport glass cannon you deal increased damage but take more damage um ice armor frost nova and then that mystical frost nova as well so anytime you nova uh, they become vulnerable and uh, you get the cooldown back faster when you kill them while nova anytime a target is frozen they're just going to melt now, um, you want to have everything that gives you a chill. So I've gone uh, and stacked Cold Front. I've got a Snap Freeze. So you have a chance to just instantly freeze mobs. Uh, these are super good. Uh, Max Blizzard, Enhanced Blizzard, and I picked Mage Blizzard uh, because you're not spamming any core skills. So why not? Um, 
and then down here you want to max all of this so uh horror frost uh do more damage to chilled enemies do more damage to frozen enemies do more damage uh, to vulnerable enemies and do more damage uh, and vulnerable enemies have a chance to generate you 15 mana now this is super good because what's gonna happen is you're gonna pull a big pack of mobs you're gonna press blizzard they're gonna start getting frozen that's gonna make them vulnerable and when your blizzard is ticking it's gonna give you mana back so if you have a really really large stack of mobs you literally cannot go oom you can just spam blizzard every single time and it, it won't like you cannot spend your mana um, another thing that I recommend getting is um, this legendary right here. You restore uh, mana when you crowd control an enemy. This is going to help you with um, with uh, more mana. So you're never going to have any mana issues uh, really with this build. Uh, on single target, you can just uh, get mana back with Frostbolt. On big packs, you don't even have to worry about it. Like You, you literally can't spend your mana. So works really good. Uh, another legendary that I really recommend getting is... Uh, the Frost Nova uh, gains an additional charge. You want to put that on your helm. And then if for uniques, I would say these legs are massive. Uh, if you kill something that's frozen, it has a chance to just chain a Nova. So sometimes you'll literally just Nova a mob and that mob will explode from the uh, ice charge and then it will just chain the whole screen. Now, the thing that makes it all work together, of course, is right here, the key passive, Shatter. When you freeze something, 25% of the damage that you dealt while they were frozen uh, kind of becomes an explosion on everything. So you free something, they become vulnerable, you get mana back, you do more damage to them, and uh, you start shooting ice charge automatically. You got the blizzard ticking, you got the uh, frozen orbs being launched in there as well, and, and you're getting mana back, and uh, they're also exploding for a shatter effect, and if they die while frozen, then that chains a nova, and that makes everyone else vulnerable, and that makes, you know, you get the drill. So it's really insane AoE clear. This is crazy AoE clear on this build. Um, getting excited just talking about it <laughs> um now another thing that uh, i would say that you want to try to get is this uh when you cast blizzard you have these uh, i'll show you because i've uh, popped a, a tanky i don't know if this uh, key has a boss in it as well but uh i've popped the tanky that we can do so these mobs should be like i don't know like uh, they should be red they should be like six seven levels maybe above me um but when you blizzard you saw the frozen orb that randomly gets shot like that uh, and then you have these uh, spikes here that get summoned and explode. These also deal more damage on frozen enemies. So you're just stacking damage to frozen enemies and you're just trying to freeze things as much as possible. That's like the core idea of the build. And then uh, in addition to that, you got the extra vulnerability stuff like uh, you do more damage to vulnerable targets if you get this legendary. Uh, the other legendaries are pretty optional though, but definitely mandatory to get this and this. Um, so... Now that we've talked a little bit about the theory of the build, uh, is there something I missed? Uh, I could talk a little bit about Paragons as well, but uh, I, I'm still somewhat new to Paragons, but what I'm going for is the Enchantment Master um, as the first board at least, or like the first legendary node. And I picked this glyph. Uh, this is really, really good glyph. Um, you deal more damage to chilled enemies or more damage to st stunned and frozen enemies. Now let's talk quickly about bosses as well. Because I know a lot of people are gonna ask about bosses. Basically, a boss has this HP bar, right? Over here. And under the HP bar, he has like this little gray bar. And every time you crowd control a boss or attempt to crowd control a boss, that gray bar will fill up. So that gray bar, when it reaches max, the boss will be stunned, take more damage. Uh, and the way this build works is you literally just blizzard the boss and then spam left click and uh, when you do that the boss will um, uh, Eventually become st uh, Stunned and that's kind of when you burn and you have, you can build it up really really quickly The one downside with bossing right now is that I need to be a little bit more tanky uh, So I can kind of just stand still and uh, do what I want to the boss um, so uh, on bosses as long as you don't try to go for like a, a you know way too high level boss, um, you have pretty decent uh, you know kill sp clear speed on the bosses. Uh, but um, the biggest strength of this build is definitely like how fast you can clear packs. Uh, so we are in a 12 key right now. I'm level 58, uh, and this is on torment three. And uh, I'll show you guys how it works. So. Uh, we can get the more mobs we fight, the better it's gonna be. Uh, the, the better it's gonna be for us because uh, 
We'll just get more mana returns. Um, but yeah. We'll see. I don't know actually how these dungeons are, like what what these dungeons are, but you can see like everything's just melting. Uh, so uh, I, so far I've had great success with this build. And you can see like the Nova's chaining, the explosions chaining, the the frozen orbs going in, everything getting uh, um, vulnerable as well. So it's. Uh, it's a really fun build to play as well because uh, it's a little bit different from what everybody else is doing. And you can see the mana as well. Like, you pay attention to the mana anytime we pull uh, a big pack. I actually don't know what these blood blisters are, but. Doesn't seem to be that good mob density here. But here's a pretty decent pack. You can see, like, the mana. I'm spamming Blizzard all the time and it just goes up. So mana issues, you're not really going to have those. And uh, issues with clearing like large packs of mobs, you're not going to have that either. So overall, I feel uh, really good about this build. Um, and it feels like a very unique build. Because I haven't seen any other builds that uh, really utilize uh, Blizzard a lot and Frozen Orb, you know? I'm kind of hoping that this dungeon has a boss. But we'll see. Look at my mana here. I'm spamming Blizzard. Like, I can't go. It's impossible. Every, every, <laughs> every time I can, I press, uh, like on cooldown basically, I'm pressing uh, Blizzard, which is my highest mana spender. Uh, so I've thought about the idea of maybe using Ice Shards in addition to Blizzard instead of the left click. And I think that there's probably going to be a, a viable build of that. Uh, that could work, but uh, we'll see. There, there's, this build is definitely not finalized yet. Like this is, this is the base idea of it, but you can also modify it the way you want, you know? Uh, and I think... Uh, like here, when they start getting frozen, look at my mana. It's crazy how, uh, how much it goes up. And you can kill stuff like... Oh, step into that next bird in there. You can ki literally kill stuff that's like off-screen, you know? That feels really good. I'm very happy with uh, how this build turned out. One thing uh, the build could improve on is definitely the survivability, because you are a bit squishy. Like, you do a lot of damage, but you are a bit squishy. Maybe it could be worth to dump glass cannon. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. And I'm also doing... Uh, I'm basically always fighting only red mobs. No! I still in an explosion. Classic wild players. Don't move out of the fire. <laughs> but you could actually... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about that. Uh, you could also play... Um, with the cheat death. If you want to. You could, you could swap the frozen orb enchantment. It's kind of open. I've tried... Frostbolt, I've also tried Firebolt and playing with Devouring Blaze, and it's not bad. Uh, you could also play with the uh, Cheat Death enchantment uh, with the Flame Shield one, so you 
automatically activate a flame shield when you're supposed to die. So if I play this on hardcore, I'll probably ditch the frozen orb and just play with that. Because it's not that important, the, the frozen orb. Um, but honestly, with the... <laughs> Uh, I saw PS Hero today die on Hardcore because of uh, a bug where his abilities didn't work. I've seen so many clips of people dying to like DCs and just really dumb things. But uh, I don't know, man. I don't think I'll be playing Hardcore. At least not right now. It's an easy excuse for me as well because I know I'm going to die, you know? I like to go for these uh, one shotty builds, so. And when you ever want to use single target, you just want to left click. And elites, uh, I recommend trying to single target them. Like, you get your blizzard down and then just spam left click on them. Because after three freezes, they become immune. Can I carry two of these stones? I cannot. Or do I need to return it? I guess it's somewhere over here. I don't know this dungeon. I, I don't know a lot of the new dungeons, to be honest. Also, I haven't done my uh, renowned farming and... <coughs> A lot of that stuff. Sorry. Um, I haven't done uh, the Renown farm either, which is uh, makes you a lot stronger. So this is uh, still early days. This is only day two of uh, playing this build. But a lot of people have been asking about it. Uh, so I figured I'll make a video. And then you guys can experiment with it as well. Modify it, maybe. Make it uh, the way you want it, you know? So hopefully this dungeon has a boss. Because I would like to show you guys uh, how the boss fights work as well. I'm not sure. We really picked the longest dungeon, didn't we? Oh, yeah, there's a boss. Okay, cool. Let's see how this goes. So on bosses, like I said, you want to look at the stagger boss, uh, stagger bar. And you can see this, uh, you see this bar under his HP. You just want to spam blizzards and then get as many left clicks in as you can and then no by him when it's almost there and you can see the damage here pretty good so yeah that's the build hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you on the next one peace